Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco, and in this video I will talk about a unique burger knife. Comes in a typical Burger Plus line box. As we open it up, it has the usual form. A really nice box with a magnetic uh, closure. So it's nice for uh, storage and for display. Inside we have some paperwork. Uh, the first is uh, basically the registration for the warranty if you want to do that. The second one, the smaller one, is more important because we have here the information on how that double action knife works. This in Deutsch as well, because that uh, came from Germany. Now the, made, the, the knife is made in Taiwan. Uh, that was made in Taiwan for quite a while. It's a Botch Wallotten and matte diskin design. Botch Wallotten is the king of switch blades. I think it's correct to say that. Uh, so back about 10, 15 years, uh, there was a bit of hype about uh, double action switch blades. What means double action uh, switch blades? Basically, uh, that we have a knife that you can open like this design as a traditional one hand opening knife with a liner lock. And that, of course with the left hand as well or you have a hidden double action mechanism so you can use the knife as a switch blade and that is hidden in a, this knife as well so the way uh, some of those designs were built from Bach Wallotten were scale release and that is what we have here. So basically the front scale is uh, a fake setup. We see here with that screw that is a fake. It basically privets around a uh, angle point in the back. So that part of the scale here needs to be pushed upwards. And then the knife open. I'm going to show that. You basically push the thumb over here. You press in that way and then the knife open. You see here the difference. So that is the regular position. And then this is where it fires. So it's it's really really easy and simple to use like that. Of course this is then more for right hand use, uh, not for left hand, because uh, the other side with the poker clip is uh, completely set up like a regular scale, like a regular knife. It's just the front that privets a bit around. We see that also on the back side there as the scale moves. So that's all about that. So. Bach Wallotten did uh, make a lot of conversions back then of uh, regular knives, liner lock knives into double action. Uh, all knives, or pretty much all, have a solid back strap uh, that is needed because they need to cover up the spring that is inside the knife. So you see on front there in the in the gap there is a bit of a blank spot that is where the spring rubs on the blade tang. Uh, we also have a screw back here that holds the spring, the flat spring in place, which is going further back to the other screw 
that is in the knife. So it's a rather complex design of course, uh, partly because it's double action and partly because it's set up as a, as a hidden release. Uh, there are of course uh, different other possible hidden release knives. Uh, the Robbie Dalton is or was back then uh, a genius too on different uh, knives that he made. I made a video about uh, Dalton knives as well. So yeah, back to uh, this time. Actually we have to step back a bit. So back then uh, that knife was already made in Taiwan later on for Matt Diskin, a uh, knife ma maker and uh, for whatever reason, now it's uh, offered through Böker uh, as a, for a while, I guess. And it's the same, how it looks, the same maker from Taiwan that did make that knife before. So they had the tooling and they just made a bit more of it. And uh, that's what I got. Uh, those knives are currently on sale over in Germany, unfortunately not in USA. So that is a bit of a drawback, but uh, it's for sure an interesting design. Now to the quality made in Taiwan, it's really nice made. Uh, no problems at all. The design is nice. It's a medium size uh, knife. Uh, for whatever reason, the blade feels a bit uh, like a convex grind. It's not 100% flat as best as I feel it. It's always 8. Uh, we have a serial number. Oh, this one is actually 46. Okay, <laughs> they uh, quite likely did not make that uh, many uh, of them because that's, that's a true special item and in many places uh, switch plates are banned, unfortunately. Uh, they are not as lucky as me here in my paradise. So uh, yeah, the edge is really good. I did already whittle with it. It bites into the wood surprisingly good for what it is. Uh, a nice even grinding. The sharpening is not 100% on the back part here, but uh, still for a, for a factory knife uh, out of the box, uh, really nice for what it is. I don't see any much any uh, flaw. We have a bit of grinding over here and uh, we see the two stop points for the unique uh, thump stud. There they made that clever that that is square at the end so they can use a tool to mount it and we see the thing gonna go in rightly right there where those uh, dimples are. So that gives it more support than if the if the scale, if the liner there would be just flat. So that's a bit of a unique approach. The axis is adjustable with this pin here, this screw, because the other one is simply round. You, we see that is not a screw. Now I can't remember by the original manufacturing if that was uh, looking like a screw too or if it was round. That detail I can't remember because it's quite a while since I saw the non Böker Mark, the original version. Yeah, all in all, really nice knife, good pocket clip, interesting for the collection, currently on sale in Germany as I said. So if you are in Germany and uh, or Europe and if it's legal for you, have a look. That is a, a unique knife. So thanks to Böker, thanks to Bach Wolotten and Matt Diskin for making this uh, knife design. It's sure nice to have it in the collection.